What's going on with all my billionaires out there? This the guy who is billionaire. Welcome to Who's Billionaire TV. Big favor, big abundance on today's episode. We gonna be talking about QCP selling a QC catalog for three hundred million. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. So uh, QC went ahead and and sold that that whole catalog off uh, for three hundred million. Um, congrats to QCP, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, a lot of people saying, man, you sold out. You should have been in independent, stay independent. Now you can sold all the rights to all of your artists and all of them. You know what I'm saying? They black artists, so he should have stayed independent. Now, me personally, I'm going to put it like this, man. First off, and you know, everybody understands in the structure of business, like most people build businesses to sell them. They don't build them to hold on to them forever. They might keep one or two businesses that mean something and pass down to their children. If their children even want to get involved and be groomed to, to run that business. But most people uh, grow businesses just to sell them. And QCP responded to that and spoke to it and pretty much was saying that you know what i'm saying he bought in man and he really just really more so did this to expand and do bigger and better things which i understand now you got 300 million in capital well let's say like 180 after taxes you got 180 million in capital right now he can do some other things he can start another label and make it bigger and better he can not only start a label but start many other businesses and employ more black people and help more black people along their way, you know what I mean? And, and and help put on more black people, not in just in the capacity of music, but in all types of restaurants, restaurant, trucking businesses, some real estate businesses. Some, if he don't already have these things, I'm just throwing that out there. You know what I'm saying? Shit, he can open a school. He can do a lot of things. You feel what I'm saying? So shout out. To QCP because that was a major boss move. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like he did the right thing. Shit, Jay Z just sold Duce to Bacardi for damn near billion dollars, like 750 or something like that. You feel what I'm saying? So you 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 build companies to sell them. You build companies to let them go. You don't build them to hold on to them forever. That's not how this works. Once it's a functional, cash producing, profitable company. And you then got all the years out of it that you want to get out of it and everything you want to get out of it, then you let it go. Now, I don't know what this means for the baby masters and the Migos masters and, you know, all of those different things. I mean, they might, they probably might have to, you know, uh, maybe cash in in order to get their masters. I bet that has something to do with that offset situation with him wanting to break free of his contract and possibly getting some of his masters back. But, I mean, that business, this is what happens when you guys sign contracts. When you sign a contract, when you sign a contract, whatever it is that you're giving up in in regards to signing that contract, all of those artists are successful. All of them artists are successful and made lots of money and got fame and notoriety and lots of assets. So, I mean, you can't be mad at the owner of the company, both him and Coach K, if they decide to cash out and go ahead and go about their way. It's nothing wrong with that. I salute both of them for that. You know what I'm saying? I want to see both of them continue to be successful and continue to grow and continue to be prosperous. So, I think we should all be applauding Coach K. You feel what I'm saying? 300 million, that ain't nothing to sneeze at. Shit, Wayne only got 100. You feel what I'm saying? I think out of all the people that cast in their catalogs, I like Future Deal the best. Because Future only sold his catalog from like, I want to say it's like 2008 to like 2019. And then I don't I don't believe he sold, just sold it out right. I think he might have, it might have only been for like 10 years or something like that. I'm not sure on that part. And then I know for a fact he got to keep everything from like 2020 on. So he and he's still working, he's still hot, he's still relevant. So he's still building a whole nother catalog and was able to cash out on that catalog. So I mean it's definitely if you if you're gonna do right smart things with the money, it's definitely smart to to let your catalog go. You know what I'm saying? You done built the hell of a catalog. So that's just smart moves, you know what I'm saying? So I salute Pete. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. This is God who is being there. Big favor, big abundance. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. This is God who is being there. Big favor, big abundance. I'm gone.